Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Sani Mohamed. I will be presenting to you my library app for the Municipal de Valencia. So today I'll be going over the analysis, the UX, the prototyping, and the UI. Basically, this whole project is about creating a mobile app for the city of Valencia that would allow library patrons to easily find books by searching them, reserve books and how their, their return policy is, and for new users to be able to find closest library that's nearest to them, not forgetting the social clubs that their libraries also have. The deliverables for this project will be a functional UI prototype of the app, a Figma link of the prototype, and then the research information, which I'll be briefing you about. So basically, when we say the Biblioteca in Valencia, the library history in Valencia is more concentrated on the Valencia literature and culture. They are home of a sizable library of documents, books, and manuscripts pertaining to Valencia's past and present, some of which date back to the 15th century. They also offer a variety of educational events and activity for people of all ages, including seminars and classes on literature, history, and culture. So, that being said, I'll go over the target audience for this project. I actually handpicked this target audience because I did a research about how people actually interact with mobile app. And then to go further to say how people would like to do, like would like to read books online. Would they prefer it, a physical book to reading ebooks? So the research was just about finding how many people are interested in reading ebooks and then how many people are actually interested in reading physical books. So it came out that about 90% of the people that I interviewed prefer reading ebooks and this age group were between 14 and then 40 and it's quite clear that this age group are the most busiest from 50 60 they are retirement and they are home and they are, have a lot of time on their hands so they would rather read a physical book or read a newspaper or something else so i chose the target audience to be 14 to 40 years and this includes students workers and researchers so i'll go over the um, the research that i did which is um quantitative research method that i used and then the questions that i asked are all listed here as you can see so it's it was actually observed that so i i identified my stakeholders and then my audience the stakeholders being the valencian city council the generally thought valenciana and me myself the designer of course also the audience will be the general public of valencia because they are invited to come to the library or they will be downloaded the app to use and then also the valencian library and then card bearing holders of um, the libraries in Valencia. So what will be the audience need and the stakeholders needs? Basically the stakeholders need an app that the new user will be able to find new books, book reservation and returns, locate the nearest library, reading groups and then cultural exchange. These are the stuff that the stakeholder needed and then the audience needs were fast loading interface, sorry, easily find books free access to books, encourage reading, and then easy accessibility interface. So I'll go over the UX, which is the, the, the user persona. So I find my friend here, Diego San Sebastian, which is a made up name, um, is a 28 years, 28 years old physician living in Valencia. San Sebastian actually enjoys having a quality time with his family member, but he also likes spending time alone and when he's all alone he, he uses his phone by reading and then researching he's always he always like to bring hard copy of the book to work to read through when he he has no patient to attend to he will always paste stickers and all that to to remind himself where he is when um he has like patient to attend to as i said before what what will be his pain point for doing that so 
son Sebastian will actually like to switch to e library that will help him to track where he's read to but the problem he's facing is he's unable to find books without sign up he always struggle whether he, he doesn't need to put in his information before he can find any book that he wants is is the app like worth it does he need to keep the app on his phone or he he just he doesn't need it annoying sign up process is just too much for him to bear so he 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 doesn't want to waste that time he's unable to keep the main motive that he would want to download up is keep record and if he's not able to keep that i don't think he's going to download the, the app and then if he's not able to find the books that he wants that's going to be another challenge for him another person that i found interesting was um maria jose maria jose is also a 24 year old student in valencia maria jose is an undergraduate student at the Universitat Politecnica di Valencia. She attends lectures on the weekdays and on campus. She finds time to go to the library. When she's, when she's not on campus and she's at the hostel, she enjoys playing music, watching TikTok videos and reading her favorite drama related books online. She sometimes refers to reading at night at the comfort of her home. So, what will be the pain point of Maria Jose? First of all, she's unable to find the nearest library if she cannot go on campus to go and read from the school library. Secondly, she's unable to rent, rent or borrow books from outside libraries. Then again, easily to get distracted when reading her books. Unable to track reading status again for her and then unable to access the library on weekends. So when it's weekends, she, she can't go to library and then read them or have them at night to read them. So to empathize with, with these people, Jose Maria, for instance, what does he think? First of all, which, which library will suit her? Do they have free books? Where can she find like uh, a sci-fi or drama book that she's also interested in? Because she always confused on what to do. She see friends get physical book delivered to them. Can this app do the same thing? It's a question. What does she say? I want to read a new book. But she doesn't want to go to the library at night. I mean, she can read from her, her phone. Search the web for new books. Or compress different library app. What does she hear? um she searched on the web and new books and all that so i actually did competitive analysis the first app that i found was um ebiblio which is a madrid-based public library system and this library actually encompasses all of um the libraries that are that are found in in spain so you can actually find um libraries in valencia on this app ebiblio but then they have like um its headquarters in in madrid the app allow you to access or borrow ebooks audiobooks newspaper and then magazines the app has a wide range of books magazine and always up to date on newspaper to select from it is available on both iOS and then Android. It has fitted nice and sleek interface. When reading a book, you can change the font that you want. You can change the size of the font and even you can change the background or you can magnify the entire screen to suit you if you can see where or anything. Also, it has a slider to slide through all the pages that you are reading through. Depending on the time of the day, you can switch to the theme dark or to the normal theme that you want. It has a bright orange color that makes reading menu items easily. Nevertheless, you will need a membership card to be able to use this app. Another um, competitive um, analysis that I did is uh, Biblioteca Virtual which is also um, a Barcelona-based app. 
So this app actually is based in Barcelona and then it, it connects all the um, libraries in, in Barcelona, just like we, the, the Valencian community want to replicate. So the Biblioteca Virtual um, allow the user to find all kinds of book, rent books and perform other tasks. So you carry your, your, your card and that of your family on your mobile and then you can access all the catalog that is available to you. You can actually renew loans and then reserve documents, consult and save activities scheduled by the library. And then you can also reserve computers available on any of the libraries that's nearest to you. So this app actually has a wide range of books to select from and also categories to choose from. The interface of it looks quite simple but powerful in terms of functionality because with the app, you'll be able to locate the nearest music public library nearest to you. And even they have library buses, track your activities on the app. And with your membership card, you can share with a family member or friend to also read the same book with you. So the assessment I have over these two apps is both libraries have a clear and easy to use interface. Users can easily assess or suggest collection or genus they are interested in thanks to the app's easy structure. They both made use of familiar and readable font family across the apps. So what's, what's the challenge that we need to resolve here? The user are able to find nearest public library. The ability to borrow books with flexible return policy, a nice and simple interface a clean and minimal interface also easily to find books and suggestion based on each of the category that you selected set simple go tags to com complete by competing with yourself able to switch mode and team of reading background and able to keep track of your reading so i actually went over um, a user interface or the user architecture and yeah, as you see right now, this is the user journey. And then the prototyping. So I started with the sketches and yeah, I will explain this, this uh, just a wireframe of um, the sketches of wireframe. I will explain better in the hi-fi. This is a low-fi, just sketches. So yeah, let me take you through. So the lo-fi, so the app would have to start with obviously a splash screen on boarding and then we give a little information about the app and then the second screen for onboarding we give um, another detail about the app and then you have your sign up sign in and then your explore. First off, we have the explore the app and then we have create account create a free account and then you log in. So basically all I wanted to do is for a new user to download this app, they can explore the app without creating an account. So imagine just walking into um, a public library, you are you, you will not be charged with anything. You just have to hand in your ID and then you register and then you, you can read any book that you want and it's for free. They are not going to charge you. Okay, but they have a lot of activities in the library. So when you explore this app, you get to see what's on there but then certain features will be disabled. You, you may not be able to use certain features on the app because you need to sign up or you need to log in. When you log in, you can, or when you sign up, you can have access to all these features that are great. So that will be the first page. And then the home page 
will basically before you go to the home page that's for the new user before you go to the home page there will be um a catalog of um genes that you need to select from and based on that selection that you made we would be suggesting books or recommended books recommending books that you might find interesting but the header of the home page would always say welcome to the app that's you and also beneath that is the genus you can select another genus on top of what you selected previously and then what we recommend for you to read and then what's been trending on the market and what have you so basically i've talked about the genus the genus which um yeah and then so this is a simple interface as i said if if you look at the biblioteca the barcelona it's quite simple but then it's also powerful because if you look at the interface it's very simple but it has everything that encompasses a library so i sort of replicate almost the same thing here but then with a little twist of mine so we have the book if you select the book you have the the title of the book the author and the rating and in the app you can listen to the the audiobook or you can read it or you can add it to your library to read it later so this add to to library is supposedly you are out of range you are somewhere that there you have you hardly had network to download or read or listen to a book you can save it and then later on you can read it or you can listen to it later and then you have the detail of the book you have reviews what other people are talking about uh how, how what they are saying about the book and then also we would suggest another again books that you might find interesting so if you choose to read the book this is how the interface is going to look like first you have the back button on top and then we have uh three icons buttons which will be the um, the size of the font you can change the size of the font and then also you have your settings so with the settings you get to go to another page and then that will change how everything even the tone of the reader's voice you can change it and then you can also read along as you listen to the the audio book so another segment that i would like to talk about is the my library page which is um basically categorized by finished book favorite books and then your cuts so the finished books are the books that you've read and then probably you love them or you hated it but this is going to be the books that you you've read and then um your favorite books are the books that you liked as you read through and then your cuts these are the books that you would want to borrow from the library and then they will deliver it to you so this is how the finished book and then i combine them here but then on the actual um on the actual app itself it's separated so this is how it's going to look like and then the more books if 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 you you choose to see more of a category this is what it's going to um give you also on the profile page we have goals this is where you can set your goals that you want probably you want to read let's say three books in a month or let's say one book in a month you can set that and the the app will keep reminding you where you've got into you keep track of everything and then at the end of the day you can interact with the app also and then there is another feature that i call the premium the premium is where any user does that have the the membership card can actually interact with other users that have also acquired a membership card 
so you can send them congratulatory message you can interact with them basically and then you have your settings and then your logout buttons and then another feature that i would like to talk about is the location page so the location page pinpoints where exactly you are and the library next to you so it shows all the libraries connected in the valencia um, community and then you can choose to walk in or reserve from there so when you click on the library you get information on the library if it's open or it's closed you get to know that so this is the goals page and this is also the social connect page which i um the social club which i call the social connect page so you can find people that have the membership card that's on there and then we would also suggest to you people that live nearest to you that you would want to connect with them and then also you can add friends that you know that they are on there but then they are not here you can add them directly so when you click on one of anyone's um, page this is what you find you find their name their info and then the achievements the achievements talk about um, the books that they've they, they've read how they read it was it like too fast well, basically we'll give the track to you to also see how they read it so that you can challenge him or you challenge yourself to reading it better and then what they are currently reading right now so if they have a new book going on it will be displayed there for you to see and also you can send them congratulatory badge for them to also feel like oh somebody is, is actually watching me read which is something um i like the most so i'll go through o over the ui and then the first thing that we'll talk about is the color palette so i basically use um, a purple orange and then teal orange stood out for me because um if you come to valencia probably if not the first thing that will come to your mind or the the second thing is just orange 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 or everywhere the the city is just orange so to to make the people here connect with the app basically that's why i use the orange color and also i use purple because um purple associates itself with royalty it associates itself with richness and when you talk about um culture valencia is blessed with one of the most beautiful culture in the world. So I, I, I wanted to connect that cultural part of Valencia and the orange found in Valencia together. And then also I just added um, a teal orange, um, a teal to balance it out as um, a complementary to the orange. So um, my base colors will be obviously black and white, but then I have variation of 70% um, transparency in both colors the black and the white and then also i have my error signals which is red so typography i chose poppins because it's quite pleasing to the eye and it's quite pleasing to on screen um, if you are holding a phone or anything that you're holding is probably made from poppins or montserrat that's basically why i use this to tie faces and the poppins will be my body text and then the monstrat will be uh, my header text so um, my system and interactives first i'll go over the nav icons the nav icons i have the home i have the search the the um my library and then profile with genus also and then i have the bottom icons which is the play button the nest the forward and all that and then um, i have other icons on the app also i have my buttons made from the um, i have my primary made from the the purple and then the orange with the secondary color and then i have borders also and this will be my inputs and 
my forms drop downs and the nav bar and then user we have the female how it's going to look and then the male how it's going to look and then if you're not even signing this is what we will provide for you nothing we won't provide you with anything thank you um we have other elements such as the read progress we have the search bar we have the goal progress and then my spacing system i use the eight point grid system and I, I have like four columns with 24 margin and 16 gutters so my effects i have uh, my shadows i have my layer blur and then i have my background also and then these are my cards the cards i have one for category one for continue reading um one for uh main card which display the books and then the recommended the ones the books that will be recommending to you this will be the card for it also i have um, the category page um the card for categories and all that so this will be my high fidelity so basically this is how it's going to look like Uh, login pages our home page we have our home page our general selection our, our main journal and then the um, interface for the book details and then you also have your reading panel your listening panel and then both combine you can read and listen at the same time and also you have our profile settings so you have color themes you have um, edit profile you have push to talk and all that and I have other um, screens that are available with the link that will be seen next so um, with the testing the user are generally happy with the design and are able to use the app without any confusion the depth of which they understood the app is overwhelming they particularly like everything how everything is at their disposable at the same time in the same place since others option do not really have or provide the same opportunities precisely they consider the premium for the registered member because it has a lot of um, benefits to that comes with it and finding library that um, is nearest to them is one of the top buttons that is always considered good over the app. It is very visible directly from the home screen. So you, from the home screen, you can just directly tap on it and then you know where you are and then where the nearest library is. So the evolution of the app is what um, I think how the users receive the app, how people I tested re receive the app basically shows how they, they are in tune with the app. And I don't think for this couple of years, there will be, there will be need to change anything on there. I think it will, it's going to last for a while before there will be a change on the app. And then I'll provide the link. So we have the link to the prototype and then the link to the app itself. Thank you.